For half of Earth's history, there was not an ozone layer which could protect from ultraviolet light, and so the amount of ultraviolet light reaching Earth was once much, much greater. And this may explain why ATP became established as the universal energy carrier. Adenine is the nitrogenous base which most readily forms in abiotic conditions and is also the most abundant base in modern organisms. It is the most stable and it offers the highest absorption of ultraviolet light. UV light can cause the formation of adenosine from adenine and ribose, and it can cause the formation of ADP and ATP uh, from a solution of adenosine and ethyl methophosphate. ATP may have functioned in the early Earth to harvest energy from ultraviolet light. Many other basic components of modern cells, such as the coenzymes NAD, NADP, FAD, and coenzyme A, are derivatives of RNA nucleotides which can interact with adenine and may have been involved in some of these early reactions.